Hi, you doing, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Today, we're going to be talking about the nobles from the webtoon comic, Noblesse. For those that do not know about the Noblesse series, this will serve as a brief intro to the webtoon comic. Noblesse is a fantasy webtoon written by Son Jeho and is illustrated by Lee Wangsu. It is available on the webtoon app and website for free. It even has two OVAs which are available on YouTube, so give it a try after this video. In the Noblest comic, there are three main races, and today we'll be looking at the Noble race. The Noble race is a very ancient and powerful race, and has existed long before humans and are often compared to vampires. Wooden stakes and garlics are often seen as anti-vampire items and are used by humans to insult the nobles. Though these weapons may affect vampires, but they have no effect on the nobles. <laughs> Members of the noble race have blood-colored eyes and have very long lifespans, as seen when the previous lord, the ruler of the noble race, could not even remember how long he had existed. Due to the immense power and code of honor, the noble race have been protecting humans to a point of which they would be able to protect themselves. This led many humans to worship the nobles as gods thousands of years ago. The nobles reside on the island nation of Lucidonia, which cannot be detected by human senses. The pure blood nobles are the leaders of the noble race. In the past, there were 13 clans, and the leaders of each clan are often referred to as clan leader or family leader. Each clan has a specific noble house, which specifies an area of combat. The clan leaders are under the rule of the Lord. Lord is a title given to the supreme ruler of the noble race. The Lord symbolizes authority and handles affairs of the noble community and demands absolute and unquestionable obedience from all the members of the race. The noblest is a title given to the strongest member of the noble race and symbolizes strength and plays the role of protector of the nobles from internal and external threats. The noblest ranks between the Lord and the family leaders. As such, he has to follow the orders of the Lord, but can command family leaders to do whatever he desires as long as they are in the boundaries of the laws that govern the nobles. Aside from being the protector of the nobles, the noblest also plays the role of their judge and executioner. There is another group of nobles which are known as the traitors. This group consists of six family leaders that had betrayed the current lord 500 years before the start of the series. Typically, the nobles possess speed, strength that are far beyond that of normal humans. They also have great durability and regenerative abilities. They also possess the power of telepathy, which they refer to as mind control. This power is unique to their race. Some members of the clan have used this to stop the movements of their enemies to completely erasing and implanting memories. The nobles can also use telekinesis and is often seen as an extension of their telepathic abilities. The clan leaders possess an enhanced form of the abilities mentioned previously and also have a special power which is known as soul weapon. The soul weapon is unique to each clan and can only be used by their clan leaders. It is stated that when a clan leader enters eternal sleep, their power is added to the soul weapon which is used by the new or the current clan leaders. The Lord and the Noblest possess all the powers and abilities mentioned previously with the addition of the Blood Ring. This ability allows its user to control blood and even create blood from thin air, and it is then used as a weapon by the Lord and the Noblest. Eternal sleep is what nobles refer to as self-initiated death, and death of natural means is referred to as returning to the earth. 
the nobles referred to execution as forced eternal sleep. All of the traitors from the noble race joined the Union, a group that seeks war domination. Since a clan leader's power is put into the sole weapon for the new clan leader to wield, this would make each clan leader more powerful than the previous clan leaders. When a noble reaches the age of 200, they go through a ceremony which is known as the coming of age ceremony, which enhances all of their current abilities. Nobles are capable of granting humans a fraction of their power by forming a blood contract with the individual. It is known that if a human drinks the blood of a noble, they would gain the ability similar to that of the noble which the blood originated from. After the supposed betrayal of the noblest, the nobles took the title and referred to their own race as noblest. According to Google Dictionary, the word noblest means nobility. Thank you for watching the video and please like and subscribe for more great content and comment down below on what videos you'd like to see me do next.